What is going on, YouTube family? This is Brett from Skate the Foundry, and in this video, we are gonna be learning how to do board slides on the rail behind me. This was the first trick that I ever learned 20 some years ago, and I'm gonna give you all the tips. This is still, it's just a fun, easy trick to do, and once you have it, I think you'll learn it, and you'll know how to do it forever. So, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and then also stick around to the end because I'm gonna be sharing some extra tips of how to learn board slides before you even get onto the rail. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, so for your board slide, you're gonna to need to know how to do three things. One is just to ride your skateboard comfortably, being able to shift your weight when you're going up and down ramps. I also recommend knowing how to do manuals. They don't have to be perfect, but at least you have a good idea of how your body should be on a skateboard while moving. You're able to shift your weight. Next thing you're gonna be able to do, number two, is an ollie. So that's also really important because we are gonna be ollieing onto the obstacle. For this one, it's gonna be this rail behind me. We're gonna be ollieing onto it. So it's good to know that. The third thing, is a Ollie 180. Now for this trick, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you get this like one out of every 10 times, that's okay. As long as you know how to pop your board and then turn your body 180, then we're able to get onto that rail because when we're ollieing onto the rail, we're popping our Ollie and then we are turning 90 degrees. So not a full 180, just that 90 and then we're riding it out. So those are the three things that you need to know how to do. And now let's just jump into it. how to ollie and we know how to 180. Now it's time to put the two together and do our board slide. So you're gonna have your feet set up in the ollie position. You are going to approach the rail on a diagonal angle, but not super diagonal. You don't wanna be like this. It's almost as if you're going parallel. You can be parallel, but I like to be on a slight, slight angle like this. And then you're gonna just pop your ollie, get a good pop, and jump really high, and you're gonna have to land on the rail like this, dead center. And what you want to avoid, what a lot of beginners do, is avoid getting on the rail like this, and then trying to level yourself out. Because if you're like this, your body weight is gonna be over here, and you're either gonna push the rail, if it's a movable rail, or you're just gonna just fall off and you're not gonna be able to grind very long. So you wanna ollie, land directly on top of the rail, and then lean forward. You should be looking at where you want to land. You're not looking at the front of the rail, you're looking exactly where you wanna land on the rail. So pop your ollie, land where you want to, and then lean forward. This is the most important part because board sliding a rail can be really dangerous if you're not leaning the correct way. And the correct way is only one way, which is going forward. Because this rail is gonna be like ice when your board hits it, especially if you have a new skateboard and the graphic isn't scratched up yet. When you get onto it, you're gonna be sliding really fast. So pre be prepared and jump forward to your toes. You have to be leaning all the way down to over lean forward because it could be dangerous and a little scary. Now, if you're on the rail like this, you have options to come out because you're gonna be in full control over top of the rail. So you can come out regular by just turning your shoulders uh, and then turning your hips, or you can come out fakey by just turning the other way. Now, a lot of beginner skaters find it easier to come out fakey because it's similar to that 180 ollie that we learned earlier. So it's just like popping onto the rail and then finishing out your 180 coming out this way. That's actually a helpful way I learned years ago. But once you get onto the rail, like I said, you'll have control and you'll be able to have options to pick when you're actually on the rail. 
I know it sounds crazy, but as you get more experience, things tend to slow down when you're learning, when you're actually doing the trick and you can think about what you want to do next in the mid trick. So that is how you do the board slide. Now let's go over a few tips of how you can learn this without using a rail. All right, so sometimes learning a board slide on a rail can be really, really challenging and a little scary too because you're landing on this little tiny bar and you have to like just balance and do all this stuff. So uh, here's a tip. Instead of learning on the rail, go back and learn it on a ledge. And if you're at home, you can use like a sidewalk curb and just learn the motion of the board slide, get comfortable and used to landing and leaning on your toes and then take it to the rail. All right, so here's some tips. Let's give it a watch. Okay, so now we have our ledge and we're gonna learn how to do board slides on this. I have our two stair that's flipped around and we're gonna be sliding here and I am not waxing the top because I do not wanna slide. I just wanna build up that muscle memory of getting onto the ledge. So what you're gonna be doing is find something like this or something a little bit smaller at home and just practice popping and getting onto it. Now, don't get discouraged if you keep landing this way and you fall off that way. That's gonna be common. So you're just really focusing on turning, popping and turning onto your obstacle. Once you're on it and you feel comfortable with that, then you can shift your focus to getting on it a little bit more and then leaning forward. And then after a few days or so, once you start feeling really comfortable, then apply some wax on the ledge. And then this way you can slide on it. And once you can feel pretty comfortable doing this, then it's time to move to the rail. So let's give this a shot. So I wanna save the fall that I had earlier today and then explain it because this is a one time in a lifetime thing that just happened. I slipped out backwards really hard. So I kinda of wanna explain what happens because that is the most common thing that happens when new skaters try board slides on rails. You slip out backwards. So it's super important that you're always leaning forward. You're bending down, you're popping your ollie and you're jumping forward and you're anticipating to slide really fast as if you are jumping on ice. So it's really important that you have to lean forward towards your toes. With me, right before ollieing, I was actually, my feet weren't set up in the right way. And when I got onto the rail, I actually tried to jump off, but my feet were not in the right position. So I couldn't really jump off my board. And that's the reason why I just slipped out. At that point, when I was trying to jump off my board, I, my body just started leaning back and it happened so fast, I couldn't even catch myself. So that's a really common fall. And even some pros do it too in when they're trying new tricks. So it's important. Use this as a great lesson what not to do on board slides. <laughs> So now that you know how to do board slides, I wanna see you go out there, tag us while you do your board slide and show us how you're learning this. Doesn't have to, like, you don't have to land it. Just go out and do it, have fun. I wanna also show you some stuff that we do here at the Foundry that can help you out with some private lessons if you're around the Philly area. So I have back here behind me, this rail set up next to the mat. This is how we teach board slides. So this way a skater can fully commit to the obstacle, to the rail and if they mess up they're falling on the mat usually in this case an instructor will be on the other side giving them some tips even holding a hand supporting them a little bit as they get comfortable getting onto the rail so not only do we have mats that we use it here if you come to the foundry you'll see mats gymnastic mats gymnastic mats all over the place we have them here behind me this giant one that we use uh to learn tricks on the ledge here or to Ollie or air off the A-frame behind me. 
We'll set up some mats there. Also, we have some other mats that we put around when just learning different things, such as like doing front side airs on quarter pipes. It's just a fun way to accelerate your learning a really fast way and to build up that confidence. It's just, it's really hard to do sometimes, especially after falls and slams. So why not learn it in a fun way? Anyway, please like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you did, if you didn't, and let us know what else you want us to make. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Mm -hmm.